So over here, I am in the color piece and let's say what I want to do is I want to work around with this footage right here and change around its temperature, tint and hue. So let's understand how temperature, tint and hue uh, works inside of the Avinci Resolve. So here I have the footage and I have the timeline cursor over here on the last footage because that is what I want to work with. So now once that is done, you can go around over here onto uh, the color wheel section where you can find the hue uh, right here, the temperature and tint, and you can find it under SDR over here as well. Some of these settings are repetitive over here in multiple spaces, but let's just work around in the SDR section for this one. No matter which section you work on with these tools, the workaround is the same. So I'm just going to go around onto SDR where I can see the temperature, tint and hue side by side, just like this. So let's work around with the temperature right here. If I were to click and drag, what, what you see is you go around and see the change in temperature. So if I were to go around over here and change around the temperature over here, if I were to click and drag, you can see that the color changes out. So if I were to go around and change this out uh, to let's say for example, minus right here, go more to the minus section, then you can see that the footage starts to turn blue. That is what the temperature does. It makes um, a footage look warmer by adding red to it, or you can go around and add more blue to it. You can see it through these scopes right over here on the right hand side, just like this. If you don't go uh, see the scope, you might want to click on this button right here. And you can see that the blue has increased. If I were to go around and click and drag, you can see that the blue comes down and the red actually increases once I go around as the temperature right here. I can click and drag around uh, all the way out right here, add in more value to make it more red as well. You might want to find that sweet spot that you want. So usually what happens is that uh, the warmer the colors, that is the more red the color, uh, people perceive it as a warm environment, while if it is more blue, then people perceive it as a colder environment right here. Since this is a mountain top, let me just go around and turn it uh, more into a cool setting right here. So that is how you can work around with the temperature. You can also go around and type in the value right here, just like this. Let's say, for example, minus 1500, press enter and the value is entered. So apart from this, then tint is an option as you can see. If I were to click and drag right here, then you can see that it actually changes around the uh, the, uh, the um, uh, colors to more like um, a pink value right here. So it changes the red and blue channels right here, but it suppresses the green channel and that is what tint is. Yeah, so temperature is red and blue while tint is red and blue and green right here, green and both of these channels that work on the opposite spectrum. You can go around and pull this out right here to add in more green to it as well. So you can get to the area where it is more balanced right here and you can see how this looks over here as well. So you can go around, add in more uh, pink to it or more green to it right there. So just like this. So that is how it works. More, more like mesenta rather than pink. Then after that, there's the hue and hue um, allows you to change out the overall color spectrum. If I were to change this, then you can see that the overall color actually changes out. And once you see the color spectrum, you can actually see that it is, it seems like it is rotating in 3D space right here, just like this. So that is what the hue does. It changes out one color from, um, from another color right here. And you might want to make only a little level of adjustment to get the result you want over here. So usually um, uh, uh, you don't really have to work around with view, but you, if you have to, then you can go around and change around the color spectrum just like this as well. And that is how you can work around with the temperature, tint and hue values inside of the Avinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.